The sacrament of confession and the, the effects of this sacrament. The seven sacraments have specific sacramental graces and effects that are produced upon receiving the sacrament. The sacrament of the Eucharist nourishes our soul, whereas the sacrament of confession, it heals us. It heals us of the wounds that we contracted due to sin. Pope Benedict XVI, in the year 2010, canonized Father Damien, who worked with the lepers. Here's a question for you. What do you think was the biggest suffering of Father Damien? It wasn't the, the island where the lepers lived and the inclement conditions that surrounded him but it was rather that he lived on the island by himself, that is to say, without any other priests. So Father Damien could not go to confession. This was his greatest suffering. So that when a, a priest or bishop was on a ship nearby, he would get in the rowboat and row out to the ship and he would yell his, sin, his sins to the priest or the bishop that was on the ship. Why? Because he could not live with a dirty conscience. I think, my friends, this is what's tormenting many people in the world today. They're living with a dirty conscience. As Shakespeare even says, conscience doth make cowards of all of us. So one of the principal effects of the sacrament of confession is to heal us of our spiritual wounds. Father Damien was working with lepers. This is a bridge for us understanding that sin can even be called spiritual leprosy. Sin can be called spiritual cancer. Sin can be called spiritual paralysis. Sin can be called spiritual blindness. Sin can be called spiritual stench. Beautiful image of sin is that in the film of Mel Gibson when Judas is rushing up the hill and he sees a dead carcass that is rotting and has been eaten by maggots. That's really what sin is. What does confession do? Confession heals us of these sins and gives us newness of life. So my friends, look forward to having recourse to this infinite source of grace that Jesus Christ wants to give you in the sacrament of his mercy. Amen.